The learning objectives of this module are to know the indications for surfactant therapy and to learn how to provide exogenous surfactant replacement therapy. Indications for exogenous surfactant replacement therapy includes infants who have surfactant deficiency such as preterm infants with respiratory distress syndrome or surfactant inactivation such as infants with meconium aspiration syndrome. Surfactant may be given as either prophylactic or as rescue treatment and is delivered via the intratracheal route. Prior to administration, it is important to ensure proper placement and patency of the intratracheal tube. Transient adverse effects of surfactant administration may include bradycardia, oxygen desaturation and hypotension. Therefore, it should only be administered by those who are trained and experienced in the care, resuscitation and stabilisation of neonates. We will demonstrate surfactant administration to a 27-week preterm male infant with surfactant deficiency secondary to respiratory distress syndrome. Remember to always follow your own institution's guidelines when providing surfactant replacement therapy. You may a little cry, bud. Yep. How far do we want to be down? Seven and just seven. Go ahead. I'm just putting the adapter on. And you can continue bagging. Mm -hmm. Where is this? Access catheter Let me uh, just listen to make sure I do that. I mean, I could probably put this up now. Um, should just see a few minutes, couple of minutes. Should be doing. You're backing your 25 over 5. Mm -hmm. Nice job. A half a dose. We'll probably run this around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I really like the surfactants. That's great.
nice response. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah.